all goodbye to a love she had to share with millions of South Africans. I can't say goodbye. We've had our laughter, we've had our challenges, we've had so many things that we were dealing with. We've had plans. I knew that we want to do something for men, girls and women and boys. But to actually wake up with the realization that you are no more, it's hard. There was a time in my life when I felt that I had lost him completely. And the reason for that, when he asked me, I told him that I have lost a hero. And it was only later on when he started changing his ways, he changed his attitude, he changed his behavior, he changed himself holistically for the betterment of not only my mother, my siblings, but for the greater community and the country at large. That is when I realized that my hero had never left. I had left him. And I would like to say to him that may your soul rest in peace, Chita. My heart is very heavy. He'd always say, it doesn't matter what time of day, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, call me and I'll be there. But now I'm privileged to have him as an angel. An angel that I wasn't ready for, but an angel that I've accepted. Papa loved. Mama said, come memorial, he loved deeply. And Papa Nakusuna, whether you, he'd kiss you in front of people that you don't want him to kiss you in front of, but he would kiss you. Papa was, he loved jokes. He loved making jokes. And that's what I want to do today. Papa could turn any situation into a fun situation. And never to be forgotten. He had said pizza to my family that whatever that I learned from my grandfather, I will pass it on to them. Long live Ndadishai. We will miss you. Long live. Shai's death has highlighted the gravity of mental issues, especially amongst men. We are not ashamed of how Patrick Shai departed. We are not embarrassed about how Brapet departed. How else was he going to be the voice of suicide beyond the grave without committing it? That was a missed call. And calls for his death not to be in vain. It baffles the mind, therefore, how someone who spent so many years of his life as an activist for the preservation of life, goes and ends his own life. But if you look at that, you will notice that it is exactly what is happening to us as the black people of this nation. That when our fathers have fought so hard for the preservation of our lives, that today we ourselves have turned the gun on our own heads, and that we ourselves are fighting against ourselves. The best way to remember Prapet and celebrate his life will be for men in particular to rise in the fight against GPV. That a Patrick, a well-known stage, film and television actor, a director, a mentor, and socio-cultural activist, one of the greatest thespians this country has produced. <laughs> Jita, as you would often call many, 
lies at the Heroes Acre at the West Park Cemetery. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News in Johannesburg.